Russia is known for many things. Men dancing in coats, vodka, and more recently, war. One thing you wouldn't know is that a handful of Russian diesels ended up onto American soil for different reasons. The first case we have yields very limited information, as I got this one from a Twitter post from the Weird Trains account. The first two images are shown of a Mac carrying what appears to be a TE-10 diesel engine. These diesel locomotives were built between 1960 all the way until today, with a whopping total of 8,232 produced in total, give or take, across multiple subclasses. These diesels were the backbone of most of Russia's freight trains and have seen widespread use in places like Ukraine, Belarus, and Latvia. From what I read, GE did rebuild a few TE-10s before shipping them back to Russia. The other image shows a stripped one parked in front of a former B-32-8, and this unit would languish in GE's plant before being scrapped in 2008. A quiet end to a hidden oddity in Erie. The second case is a handful of TEM-7s that lay dormant in Houston for a couple of years. These giant diesels were built at the Ludonovo diesel locomotive plant, and like the TE-10s, were used for handling mainline freight trains. A handful of these diesels arrived into America in 1993 as a trade compensation for grain being delivered between American Grain Inc. and Russia themselves. But upon arriving onto U.S. soil, they were immediately seized by U.S. Customs as they soon became a part of an investigation into Russia's trade irregularities. When they were finally released from customs, they sat in Houston for over a decade as the owner didn't want them anymore due to their worsening condition. By 2003, the diesel slowly but surely returned back to their home, and they are likely still in service today. Who would have thought that some of Russia's diesels made their way into the land of free?